Welcome to Mango Pro. Today I'll be showing the top 5 places to photograph the Milky Way in Kent so far. So uh, number 5 would be Reculver Towers. Um, I actually went there to shoot Comet Neo Wise and uh, yeah, I was really pleased that it came out but I did get a Milky Way shot there as well. Uh, it's a very uh, dark spot but the only problem is to the left of the castle down the hill a bit there's like a pub with a floodlight so that kind of ruins getting the Milky Way from the right angle because you really want to be down to the left of this pub looking up so if you was to put maybe a, a bag over the floodlight with a step ladder then you could probably get the perfect shot but because of that I've put this at number five on the right here I've just got the uh, Google map reference if anyone wants to travel there just search for that so, right, number four. Number four is St. Thomas Beckett Church Fairfield. This is literally in the middle of a field, this church. It's uh, nice and dark. So, um, yeah, there's a little bit of uh, light pollution in the distance here, but it's, yeah, really good. I'd say eight out of ten, really, for darkness. Well worth a visit on the clear skies. Number three, Dungeness. Now th this is also a uh, very dark spot. I actually got a uh, Kent Life Facebook cover uh, competition win for this, for the magazine. So um, yeah, I'm quite proud of that shot. Um, the reason it's number three is because where you see this light here, there's a power station. So you've got a, quite a bit of um, light pollution in the distance, but it's still an amazing place to shoot the night sky. You've got new boats, old boats, some wreckage. It's uh, one of my favourite places to go actually. It's got a couple of lighthouses as well. But the uh, the uh, newer lighthouse is better to photograph because the old lighthouse is too near the power station really for uh, the night shot. Right, number two, Bodium Castle. So this is a this is a really dark spot. Technically not meant to go in there at night but um, I did speak to a lady on the car park and she said there's CCTV everywhere, but generally if you behave, they uh, they'll, they'll let you get away with it. It's uh, becoming a popular spot. It's technically not in Kent, it's just on the outskirts, so it's, uh, it comes under East Sussex really, but um, it was one of my favourite places to shoot this year because it's really dark, and when I went, there was actually lightning happening in the corner as well, so I've got quite cool memories of this place, but yeah, if you want to get the night sky, that's... Uh, that's, uh, it could have been joint number one really, the only reason I've made it number two is because it's uh, technically not quite in Kent. So, right, number one. So we uh, searched for Beachy, well we had a trip to Beachy Head. Uh, this is actually near the Berlin Gap uh, car park. So I've got the address on the right here as well, but basically if you see in, on the right hand side here that you park behind this building and then there's a little staircase to walk down. We was actually going to try and get to the lighthouse uh, there for the Milky Way shot. It's about a mile walk along the cliff front, which sounds easy, but when you get down there, the terrain is really rough. And then uh, we got down there a bit late as well. But um, anyhow, that place is it's beautifully dark. And if you look at this reflection, this is actually a reflection of Jupiter. It's that dark there. So this is why it gets the number one spot. So, um, yeah, I hope you uh, enjoy these photos. I've linked to my Facebook page if you want to see any of my other work. But um, yeah, it's uh, well worth visiting them all, really. They're all great in their own way. I'll be uh, hopefully finding some more places soon. But, um, my favourite part of Milky Way season has gone now because the car's gone below the horizon. So enjoy and uh, catch you soon.